KNDY. Good evening and welcome back. Play continues in the Hiawatha Girls Invitational. It's semifinal rounds tonight. Marysville girls face Topeka Hayden. Winner advancing to Saturday's championship at 4.30. The loser will be in the consolation tipping off Saturday at 3. I'm Bruce Deerking. Live play-by-play coverage. Tip off about five minutes away. Marysville open first round play as the number four seed. Dispatching fifth seed Jackson Heights on Monday, 75-53. Marysville launching 75 points on the strength of 14 three-point buckets. First round play continued as top seed Topeka Hayden knocked off uh, Jackson Heights 58-25 in the bottom of the bracket. On the top side, it was second seed Lafayette over seventh seed Iowa the 60-25, while third seed St. Mary's advanced over number six Concordia 48-42. In the semifinals completed earlier today, Concordia held off Hiawatha winning by 20. Lafayette advanced past St. Mary's 44-29. So in seventh place action, tipping off at noon Saturday, Hiawatha will host West Nottoway. They'll play just the Saturday game here. For fifth place, Concordia meets Jackson Heights at 1.30. St. Mary's takes on the loser of this one, Topeka Hayden Marysville, in the consolation at 3 o'clock. And Lafayette, the number two seed, will take on the winner of this match, Hayden Marysville, in the championship Saturday at 4.30. Live continuing coverage of Lady Bulldog Basketball. A service of our KNDY Sports Booster Club members. Update your home today with a new look from Feldkamp's Furniture Mart. See their tremendous selection of living room, dining room, and bedroom sets and furniture, as well as bedding, accent pieces, appliances, and more. Financing options for any budget up to 24 months with no interest, as well as free delivery, making buying local easy. Shop Feldkamp's Furniture and Flooring in Marysville today. How would you like to have a steady job with a schedule that works for you and your family? You're in luck. Tension is hiring operators and adjusters at the Marysville plant. If you like to take things apart and put them back together again, if you enjoy being part of a team, if you're looking for flexible work with competitive pay and benefits, this could be a great match for you. Work for a company you know you can trust. Visit tension.com slash careers to learn more and apply. Marysville, the number four seed, five and five on the season with a win Monday versus Jackson Heights. We'll take on top seed Topeka Hayden. They're 11 and one on the season. Marysville girls opened with a pair of wins, Hiawatha and Sabetha, then lost the rest of December until the final game before the Christmas break. They won in league play versus Chapman. Came back after the break, defeating Abilene in North Central Kansas League competition. Lost to state ranked Omega by two points. Then lost the decision last Friday at Nemo Hall Central. Marysville's last outing, a 75-53 decision over Jackson Heights in Monday's play. Total of nine Marysville players scored in the ball game, led by Bella Raider with 22 points, Lindsey Dressman with 21, while Casey Rush in double figures scored 11. Marysville improving to 5-5 five and five on the season. Topeka Hayden, 11-1. They're only lost to Emporia. They've split with Emporia this season. That loss was a 54-40 decision, but earlier they had defeated Emporia 50-45. They are an aggressive defensive team. Look at some of these scores. Washington Schlegel, defeated by Hayden, 74-12. Bishop Ward, defeated by Hayden, 61-7. Some of their uh, defensive scores, 25 points in the match versus Jackson Heights. Here's 29, 32, 30 points. You get the sense they're a very strong team defensively, which would be similar to a Nemo Hall Central team that ran away from Marysville last Friday. And Wurtenberger's team up for the task in semifinal round tip-off. Here's the starting lineup for the Marysville Lady Bulldogs. Bella Raiders, a 5'6 senior. Casey Rush, a 5'11 sophomore. Caden Spurgeon, a 5'8 senior. Lindsay Dressman's a 5'8 junior, and Aubrey Dressman's a 5'5 sophomore. Topeka Hayden starting Avery Grunick, 5'6 senior. Lauren Sandstrom, a 6' senior. Kalia Fulton, a 5'6 junior. Riley Meyer, a 6' junior, and Norma Grone, a 5'6 junior. Marysville, 5'5, five five. Topeka Hayden, 11 1. It's girls tournament action live tonight on EDY. Tires aren't all the same, and neither are tire dealers. 
Find a dealer like Mike's OK Tire who carries Michelin and BF Goodrich tires. Michelin offers safe, fuel-efficient, long-lasting tires that provide exceptional performance and extraordinary value. BF Goodrich tires are built for drivers looking for high performance and aggressive styling. Next time you need tires, don't deal with amateurs. See the tire experts. See Mike's OK Tire in downtown Marysville for tires, repair, alignment, and service. Since 1976, Olmstead Real Estate and Auctions has been your farm and home marketing team. Let the experienced family team of Tom and Rob Olmstead and brother-in-law Tom Kirkland guide you when buying or selling a home or farmland. Delivering timely, honest, and professional guidance, visit olmsteadrealestate.com to view current listings and auctions. Your farm and home marketing team is Olmsted Real Estate and Auctions. Two teams trading baskets, wasting very little time, and here's Lindsey Dressman putting the Bulldogs up by three on a corner tray. Marysville took the opening tip to the hoop for the deuce. Riley Meyer answered back with a shot underneath. Lindsey Dressman to go ahead. It's 5-2 Marysville. Just underway in this Hiawatha Girls Invitational semifinal. Pass to the paint. Coming off near side, Caden Spurgeon. Bella Raider. Cross court to Lindsey Dressman. Turning left side of the free throw line. Shoots it in from the glass. Dressman extends the Marysville lead 7-2. Early start for Marysville, looking very sharp in the opening minutes. Hayden basketball, pass to the lane, brought down by Lawrence Sandstrom. Kicks it out to the near side for a three by Norma Greco. And it's 7-5, two teams on fire offensively in the first 90 seconds of this affair. And Amanda has to Dressman, turning in the paint, shots off the top of the rim. Followed by Casey Rush, she was fouled. <laughs> Raider, Rush, Spurgeon, Lindsay, and Aubrey Dressman, the starting five for Marysville, a pair of seniors, a junior, and a pair of sophomores. Here's Casey Rush, one of those sophomores. First of two free throws is good. And a second look for Rush. Nice arch is good for a 9-5. Marysville lead, 6-16 to play in the first. Dahlia Fry checks in for Aubrey Dressman. Avery Gruner, Lauren Sandstrom. Dahlia Fulton, Briley, Meyer, Norma Greco, the starting five for Topeka Hayden. Pass to the paints, tipped and intercepted by Marysville's Caden Spurgeon. Dressman out of the corner, missing. Rebound to Sandstrom. She was fouled. Dahlia Fry's first. Lauren Sandstrom, connections to Marysville. Grandparents there. Maybe even tuned in tonight. Jeff and Jane. Just over two minutes in. 14 points on the board between these two teams. And we expect a defensive stalemate. All but. Hayden turnover on the near side. Second substitution off the bench for Ben Wurtenberger's team is Grayson Ketter, Jr. Wurtenberger will work the bench early and often. Bella Reader brings it into four court. Rush on the far side. Cross court pass. Brought down by Ketter. Started close. Ketter had it knocked away. Grabs it back. Raider near sideline. Rush between defenders. Shot blocked. Tipped out of bounds. By Sandstrom. Five and five. Marysville. Fourth seed. 11 and one. Hayden is the top seed. Dressman. Wide open. Right side of the free throw line. That's her third score. Dressman with seven points extends the lead 11-5. A Marysville team that has struggled offensively more than often not this season. Coming out like a house of fire tonight. Hayden basketball on perimeter passes. Meyer to the free throw line. Checks near side. Shot by Greco. 
is good, and she earns the free throw. Lindsey Dressman's first, second team foul. Greco's at the line, can trim the lead to three. Rims off, doesn't fall. Lindsay's high for the board. Bulldogs by four with the ball. Raider had it tipped back into four court, tracks it down, tipped away again. Now a scramble and taken. Greco with a tip away, take away. Sandstrom, far side three, missed off the back of the rim. Bulldogs return, left to right. Pass to the lane, intercepted. Aiden takeaway from Lauren Sandstrom. Coast to coast with the layup and her first score. Lead trim to two. It's 11-9, 420 and counting in a quick first quarter. Early on, got to like the matchup between these two. Reach in foul, Greco guarding Raider. It's her first, second, third team foul. Sarah Nemec, a junior, third off the Marysville bench. Millie Ramsey's a junior, checking in for Hayden. Each team wins over Jackson Heights. Marysville 75-53, Hayden 58-25. Baseline miss. Sandstrip brings it down right to left. Greco top of the key. Finds Ramsey, new face in the lineup from the corner. Oh, that one got away. Bradley Meyer had put up a shot. Serenetic was tumbling out of bounds, saved it inbounds, but to Meyer, who puts up the easy shot for the deuce, and we're tied 11 apiece. Offensive charge with on Bella Raider, and there's three fouls each. Three team fouls each. We're going with that. Here's Bella Reed, a junior, second off the Hayden bench. Tied at 11. Hayden looking at their first lead. See if they can score on this possession. Pass to Ramsey in the paint. Guarded behind by a pair of Bulldogs. Fouls whistled on Grace Winkler. Her first fourth team foul this quarter. Three and a half to play. Meyer crossing the free throw line to Ramsey. Surrounded by defenders. Millie Ramsey, a six-foot junior reserve, puts it away. For Hayden's first lead, 13-11. Driving left side. Short shot is up and good. By Marysville, Sarah Nimick. And she is fouled. Nimick ties the game at 13-all. Found by Bella Reed, her first. Nimick for the go-ahead. It's good. 12-11. Marysville continues to impress offensively. Katie Keller, senior reserve. Keithy Rush, sophomore starter back in the Bulldog lineup. 14-13. Bulldog lead. Near side three for Meyer miss. Ramsey forcing a follow shot. Again, surrounded by black jersey. She'll come to the line for two. Rush picks up her first team foul number five. Ramsey free throw her first tonight. It's good. Well, not a full house by any means, but uh, certainly a better crowd than we had Monday with a standalone game. Kicking off the tournament, we just had a really, really sparse gathering. Second free throw is good. Quite a few Marysville fans made the trek in and out of the fog with us tonight. You drive through some patches where it was really dense fog, and then you'd run another bunch of miles and, and hardly anything at all. It's got to be getting better, right? Aaron Pass got away from Nimick, near side corner. Bulldog turnover. Trailing Hayden 15 14. 
Just under three minutes and counting, first quarter. Perimeter passes going far side, man to man D. Bracco challenges the free throw line, kicks it back to Ramsey out front. Working far side to Greco. Ramsey again, top of the key. Greco, top of the key three, missed off the front of the rim. Offensive boards hauled out near side corner by Reagan Musher. She is the elder of two sisters on this club, a senior. Sarah Nimick picks up her first personal foul. Sixth Marysville team foul as Ramsey checks back in at the line. Just knocked down a pair. This one's good. Three or four free throw shooting for the Hayden Wildcats. Here's Lindsey Dressman checking back in. Ramsey's going right to work. Junior Reserve has been their main pick underneath. She's knocked down four free throws, dropping half a dozen points for this Aiden team. Now up 17-14 on their biggest lead so far. Two ten in County. Dressman goes right to work, knocks down a three from the near side. Lindsey Dressman's fourth score, second tray, and she's got ten. We're tied 17 all. There are two minutes in County. Usher, near side. Greco to the far wing. Finding Ramsey underneath. Ouch. Bumped hard out of bounds. Falls to the concrete perimeter. Not intentional, but Casey Rush whistled for the foul on the contact. It's her second. And Ramsey, a familiar face at the charity strike. Her fifth book here tonight. Nothing but net. Aubrey Dressman checks in the Marysville lineup. Rushes out with two early fouls. Ramsey a chance to put Hayden back up by one. It's good. Six of six free throws. Trio of Wildcat starters check back in. Again, these teams back Saturday. Loser tips at three. With St. Mary's, the winner plays Lafayette at 430. They are the two three seeds. Midcourt steal by Lauren Sandstrom. Plays teammate Kayla Fulton for the layup underneath. And Hayden goes up four. Another midcourt steal by Sandstrom. Near side, Meyer drives the lane, shoots the deuce. Riley Meyer with half a dozen. Three unanswered Hayden baskets. They're up six. Ben Hortenberger takes timeout with a minute 17 to play in the first. Hayden 23, Marysville 17. Norris Motor Company in Marysville has a one-owner new truck trade. It's a 2022 Chevy Silverado 1500 model high country edition. They have a 2022 1500 LTZ 71 package under 13,000 miles, as well as a 2023 Buick Envision Essence awaiting your test drive at the Norris Motor Company in Marysville. When you're building, make the local choice with Chromie Lumber. Close to home, spend your time working and not fetching. Easy pickup or delivery available, and their prices are competitive on all of your building needs. From lumber to siding, roofing, paint, windows and doors, to the tools to get the job done. Make the easy choice the first time with Chromie Lumber, Marysville and Washington. As always, they appreciate your business as they work to help you save time and money. When you're building, make the local choice with Chromie Lumber. Bulldog basketball, a service of our Key Indy Y Sports Booster Club members. Tell them thanks for all they do. We're on air, online, and on your mobile app. Air ball from the far corner, but stays with the Bulldogs. Marysville trailing to peak eight and 23-17, with a minute 10 to play here in the first. Marysville had the early lead. 
three unanswered Hayden baskets and six or six free throws for reserve. Millie Ramsey put them on top. Leah Colton picks up her first personal, a fourth team foul. Bodong's playing bounds against man-to-man B. The intercept, the Lauren Sandstrom straddles the midcourt line. That's an over and back. Should it have been, though? She straddled that line. Not She didn't cross it first. I'll have to look that one up. Bulldogs down six. Lindsey Dressman checks the lane. Near side, wide open three for Bella Raider missing. A lot of contact fouls here tonight. Katie Keller picks up her first. Leah Fulton to the charity stripe first time tonight. Spun a 360 and jumps back out. Nadali Fry in the Bulldog lineup. Hayden 75% on 6 of 8 free throws so far. Fulton second look. It's good. Bella Reed, reserve checks in for the Cats. 56 seconds remain. Seven point lead is Hayden's biggest in the ball game. Seven point lead, seven of nine free throws. Dahlia Fry danced off the other foot, traveled with it, catching the pass. Pulled on turnover, gives Hayden possession with 45 seconds left. Both teams won over Jackson Heights here in the tournament play earlier, both by about the same margin. What a night Marysville had, though, offensively Monday with 75 points. Turning shot in the lane is good for Lauren Sandstrom's second score. She extends the lead to nine. There's 20 seconds left. Fry turns out of the near side corner. Pass intercept by Sandstrom. That's her fourth pickoff. Carded layup. Missed. Fronted by Aubrey Dressman. I believe she's going to be tagged to the foul. It is her first. And Sandstrom steps to the line. We have just over six seconds left in the first. She can extend this to a double-digit lead. Free throws good for a 10-point advantage. Substitution before the follow free throw. This is Reese Busher. She is a sophomore. Her elder sister checked in earlier. A senior. Sandstrom stretches that lead to 11. It's 28-17. Long pass to Fry near the arc. Far side missing. Rebound Sandstrom. But they won't get the shot off at the buzzer. End of one in this Iowa the girls invitational semifinal. Speak of Aiden, 28. Marysville, 17. If you're 50 or over, it may be time to switch your auto and home insurance. The AARP Auto and Home Insurance Program from the Hartford is now available through the Copeland Insurance Agency in Marysville. Discover rates, benefits, and service designed for AARP members, plus extra savings when you insure both your auto and home. Call the Copeland Insurance Agency in Marysville at 619-6220. That's 619-6220. Or visit copelandinsurance.net. Certain policy features not available in all states. Applicants are individually underwritten. Hartford Fire Insurance Company, Hartford, Connecticut. Quality, integrity, durability. These values make Landall stand out above the rest. Landall Company offers stable employment, competitive wages, $2 per hour shift differential, 4% attendance bonus, overtime hours, growth opportunities, and a benefit package that includes profit sharing, comprehensive insurance package, paid time off, and more. It's not too late to get your new year started off right. Apply online today at Landall.com or phone 785-562-5381. EEO Employer Vets and Disabilities welcome. Learn more online at Landall.com today. 
RX Drug Store in downtown Marysville is here for you with over-the-counter medicines for cold, flu, and allergy season and prescription drugs for more serious matters. They also offer curbside pickup and delivery services. Don't forget to bring in your new insurance card for the new year with RX Drug Store. Second quarter underway. Lauren Sandstrom just missed a short shot underneath. Lindsey Dressman pulls down the board. Bulldog miss underneath by Caden Spurgeon. But Dressman keeps it alive on a rebound far side. Bella Raider, top of the key three. Missing. Marysville trailing Hayden, 28-17. Marysville led the first half of that first quarter. Came out really strong. Then the difference became Bulldog turnovers, Hayden takeaways, and 9 of 11 free throw shooting for Topeka Hayden, including 6 for 6 by reserve Millie Ramsey. Inbounds to Lindsey Dressman, top of the key. Gives to Aubrey out of the forecourt. Pass to the lane. Knock. Loose to Lindsey Dressman. She fouled near the paint. No, a lane violation. A lane violation is a Marysville turnover. As Marysville gains that early advantage, they avoided the turnovers. Past the midpoint of that first quarter, it's been a little different story. Hayden coach Scarvell Reynoldson takes timeout. 7-18 remains first half with Hayden leading Marysville, 28-17. It's your land. You know what you need to run your farm operation. And it's a lot more than just seed and soil, livestock and farm machinery. That's why we're here to design a plan that fits your farm, your family, and your life. We're local and we're here to help you grow. Stop by and let's talk. Citizen State Bank. Marysville, Waterville, and Hanover. Member FDIC. We're just making a living, making things grow. Marysville Wrestlers hosting Abilene tonight. Good luck there. At the half, we'll take a look at the wrestling league standings. Ramsey in traffic underneath, takes a pass out to Reed in the near side corner, missing. Boards down to Caden Spurgeon. Traveling whistle, Caden Spurgeon slid off the pivot foot. Caden out of the Centennial League, plays the likes of Shawnee Heights, Topeka, Washburn Rural. They've split with Emporia, that's their only loss. Trinity Academy, Spring Hill, Washington, and Schlegel among their opponents this season. First meeting, obviously, between these two. Hayden fans come unglued. Thought that Kalia Fulton had a long layup in the lane, was waved off. Bulldog basketball down 11. Neither team scored here in the second stanza. Errant pass. Aubrey Dressman, it was tipped. She got it in the backcourt. Pass to the loom is intercepted by Millie Ramsey. Turns it out in the forecourt. Fulton topside. Lobbed to Ramsey. Surrounded by three defenders. Brings it out far side corner. Fulton again, topside. Challenges the lane herself. Underhand and layup's good for Kalia Fulton. Her second field goal extends the lead, 30-17. Just over six minutes and counting in the half. Riley Meyer picks up a foul whistle near side. Raider checks out, Winkler's in. The officials have to snag the Bulldogs' attention to get the inbounds pass. Batted away by Sandstrom, out of bounds near corner. Wildcat substitution, Reagan Husser. Turn around Thursday with the semifinals tonight. We're back here Saturday. Traveling whistle, Lindsey Dressman took the inbounds pass, spun around between defenders. And the Marysville turnover is really starting to rack up now. Under six and counting. Caden 30, Marysville 17. 
Holden follows the screen, top of the key, and tumbles to the court. Manages to push a pass off far side. Cross court finding Meyer to the lane, missing. It's out of bounds to the red and black. Norma Greco started back in for Hayden. Bella Raider, Sarah Nimick check in for NHS. And Wurtenberger, Carville Reynoldson going to the bench often tonight. Bulldog score a second quarter. Winkler out of the corner. Dressman from the side. Goes to the paint. Shot missed off the rim. Tipped back her way. Dressman follow. Off the rim again. And it's a tie-up beneath the basket. Between Rush and Ramsey. Bulldogs keep it on the alternate. Winkler near side to Raider. Now Lindsey Dressman for three. Bouncing high off the rim. Hayden brings it back right to left. Turning out far side and cross court. Driving the lane. Greco just back in the ball game. Long hook off the glass is good. Greco's third score extends the lead 32-17. Belongs to a bit of dry spell here of late. Raiders fouled in the forecourt by Ramsey. It's her first. Lauren Sandstrom checks back in. 15 point affair. Inbounds rush in the paint. Backs half a step away from a defender, but that's a traveling whistle. I had no choice in there, I'll give her that. Double digit, Aiden Lee, their top seed in this, if we will, 17 field. Seven point something, because West Nottaway's coming in Saturday for one game. Lindsey Dressman got a piece of the ball in the paint, and Briley Meyer got a piece of Dressman trying to take it back, picks up her second final whistle. Yeah, for whatever reason, it makes a really interesting. A bracket, to say the least. Part bracket, part pool play, and the twins shall meet, they say. Double dribble whistle on Dressman, under pressure far side. Yet another Bulldog turnover. Pass to Lauren Sandstrom, flies past her fingertips in the near side corner. She wasn't ready for it. Kelly Williams, the athletic director over at Nemo Hall Central, said they've recruited a couple of new teams to play into the tournament next year. That boys field will be an eight-team tournament. They've done some rebuilding here. Check in the paint. Lindsey Dressman on the double pump. Miss off the rim. Hayden basketball. They lead 32-17. High pass. Way too high for Sandstrom this time. Another Hayden turnover. Here's Aubrey Dressman checking in. Now, this used to be a, a very solid eight-team field. And then for a couple of years, it it was lacking with six or seven teams. This year, we're close to eight. Pretty good matchups, though. Rush hits the paint once. Over defenders beneath Casey Rush gets her first field goal. And Marysville's first score in better than five minutes. Sandstrom unloads a three near side corner at this. They play the offensive board. Out top to Greco, who traveled with it. And the turnover bug is a bit to peak ahead. Three and a half minutes left. 32-19. Raider, Marysville's top scorer, single basket. Two points tonight. That's the offense going far side corner where the pass to Rush was knocked away out of bounds. MHS inbounds baseline. Lob to Aubrey Dresden. 
Lobs to Casey Rush, right side of the lane. She had the ball swiped away by Lauren Sandstrom. Greco comes past the screen, crossing near side to Meyer. Fouled. Casey Rush picks up her third. At the stripe is Briley Meyer, her first free throw tonight. It's good. Now, 10 of 12 free throws for Topeka Hayden. Grayson Ketter checks in. Meyer connects. Lights out from the line. It's 34 19. Timeout Bulldogs with just under three minutes to play first half from the Hiawatha Girls Invitational. At Kramer Oil, safety always comes first. We're here to keep your home and shop warm with reliable propane delivery, which is why with your first fill-up, we perform a complimentary leak check. Your safety is our top priority, so you can rest easy knowing we've got you covered. And we're not just about safety, we're about convenience too. Need propane when you want it at a fair price? Call or text us today at 785-562-2466. We're here to serve you. Hop in, let's go to Honeyman Ford in Seneca, the best place to be. Skip the drive. Come see us right here in Marysville, Kansas at Honeyman Auto Sales and Service. You'll find the same honest sales experience backed by the same reliable service. With the same goals in mind, our Marysville location is sure to provide you with a satisfying vehicle experience. Find us on Facebook or stop in at 1122 Pony Express Highway today. Have you driven a Honeyman Ford? Lately. 34-19, Topeka Hayden girls lead Marysville. 250 remains first half. Bulldog basketball check out of the far side corner. Pass comes to Spurgeon in traffic, turns it over. Talk about the field here in the Hiawatha Tournament, Concordia. Better than a two-hour road trip. With Tuesday's delay on account of weather, they were back-to-back on that Four, five-hour round trip, Wednesday and Thursday, back-to-back. In fact, they were hidden home as we came over. Lob to Ramsey, triple team underneath. Forced a traveling foul, or traveling violation. Starter Kalia Fulton's back in the Hayden lineup. They're up 15 late in the first half. Still, Marysville staying with an 11-1 team. Fake, Dressman on the near side. Had the ball tipped away. Scrambles between Hayden defenders for a piece of the action. The alternate belongs to the Wildcats. Boys action tomorrow night. Marysville rematch with Neba Hall Central. Beat them in the semifinals of a Thunder Classic last week. Scott Brown's looking forward to that rematch tomorrow night. To a tip about 7.30 here on key one Top of the key, unguarded three is good for Kalia Fulton. It's her third field goal. And her first long ball, extending that lead to 18. Bulldog miss, Sandstrom rebound. Sandstrom goes to the cup with an underhanded layup. It's good. She's got eight points. Hayden's up 20. Then Wartenberger takes time out with a minute 35 to play first half. Planning new construction? If it's an outbuilding, storage, home addition, or a new home, the pros at Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axtell Lumber will help you put together everything you need from start to finish. They can help you with your design with recommendations and cost estimates, helping you find the right product at the right price. And it's delivered free for you when you're ready, when you shop local. Everything you need for your dream home or a simple shed is at Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axtell Lumber. Visit with them today. Generations have relied on Kinsley's of Marysville, the Patton Funeral Chapel in Frankfurt, Hanover Mortuary, Ward Funeral Homes of Lynn in Washington, and Landreth Axtell Funeral Home. You can continue to rely on the professional experience that they provide and the heartfelt concern that they offer each family that they serve. Caring concern in your family's time of need. 
I think Ben's asking for some of Hayden's timeout that they didn't use. Hayden went to the bench for, I don't know, 20 seconds, and they've been standing on the floor meanwhile as the referee breaks up a Marysville huddle. Lady Bulldogs down 20. Widest margin so far in the ball game, where Marysville led the first four and five minutes of the contest. But Hayden went on top 28-17 by the end of the first quarter on 9 of 11 free throws first quarter. Again, 20-point margin here. Now a minute and a half left in the half. Traveling whistle on the far side corner. Grayson Ketter looking for outlet pass. Opening minutes of the ball game were turnover free. The rest has been quite another story for a team that has been plagued by turnovers all season long. Little cross patterns and a push outside the arc for the tray. Forty-two nineteen Hayden. Stepping up defensive pressure, and we mentioned they can play defense. Working underneath to Caden Spurgeon on the short shot. Bulldogs second score here in the second quarter. We're down to 50 seconds. Ramsey driving the lane. Nope. Kelly Fulton driving the lane for the deuce. She's got 10 points. Lindsey Dressman, three out of the corner missing. Hayden basketball, 35 seconds left. Fulton got it. Ball rolled away from her, but grabs it back from Grayson Ketter. Shots good, far side corner. 46-21. Hayden's been on a roll. Under 10, Aubrey Dressman, free throw line shot, missed off the rim. Ramsey rebound, leaves five seconds. Fulton crossing midcourt, half-court launch high off the glass at the buzzer. In the semifinals of this Hiawatha Girls Invitational at the half, Marysville trailing Topeka Hayden, top seed, 46-21. At Galloway Weger Brenniger, we're about building relationships, one client and one issue at a time. I'm Jason Brenniger, and I invite you to visit with me for any legal services you might have, including probate, estate planning, and trust administration. Advanced planning has countless advantages to your family, including greater control and disposition of your assets and tax issues that might come up. Call for a no-obligation appointment today. Check us out on our Facebook page or at gwblaw.net. Kroc Family Insurance is here to help you find the right insurance products to protect what matters most to you. As an independent agency, they represent over 80 companies that allow options for the right products at the right cost. See Brian Kroc today for home, auto, commercial coverage, and more. Call or stop by at 1119 Broadway, just west of a courthouse in Marysville. Find them online at crocfamilyinsurance.com. For complete coverage and a competitive quote, reach out to Kroc Family Insurance in Marysville. Wait, Santa is done, my friends. After Santa's hard work comes the new Wi-Fi Hungry Connected Gadgets. Make sure your router is capable and ready. Let Blue Valley help you kick off the new year on the right foot and upgrade your Wi-Fi experience. Get two months free worry-free Wi-Fi and free installation from Blue Valley Technologies. For more details, visit bluevalley.net slash promo. Have you ever wondered what sets Sunflower Community Credit Union apart from the rest? It's the power of ownership. When you join Sunflower Community Credit Union, you're not just a customer. You're a member and an owner. Sunflower Community Credit Union is a member-owned, nonprofit financial institution that places our members' needs as our top priority. We're here to help you grow your savings, manage your finances, and achieve your dreams. Visit Sunflower Community Credit Union in Marysville, where ownership matters. At the half, Topeka Hayden leading Marysville, the one in four seeds in this Hiawatha Girls Invitational. Hayden 45, 46, Marysville 21. It was a Marysville lead the first four and five minutes of the ball game. Started as strong as they have all season. Knocking down the scores to get three of three free throws. Avoided turnovers. Hayden edged their way back, largely with the strength of junior reserve Millie Ramsey. 
who caught a field goal and then hit six or six free throws in that first quarter. They would come back and take their first lead, ending the first with a 28-17 advantage. Pika Hayden defense was smothering Marysville in the second quarter, forcing turnover after turnover and with takeaways. And scored Marysville 18-4, the lead 46-21 here at the half. Hayden scoring paced by Kalia Fulton with 10 points, eight apiece for Lauren Sandstrom and Briley Meyer. Norma Greco with seven, eight points off the bench for Millie Ramsey. Bella Reed drops in two. 28 in the first, 18 second quarter, first half total of 46. Hayden is 11 of 13 at the free throw line. Marysville, three of three. Bulldogs led by Lindsey Dressman. Knocked down four scores, including two trays early on, has 10 points. After that, Serenemic a reserve with three. Now let's, let's do starters for Dressman with 10. Casey Rush has four. Bella Raider and Caden Spurgeon two apiece. Then Nemec off the bench with three. 17 in the first, but held to a pair of field goals. Four points in the second quarter, just 21 in the first half. It's 46-21, Hayden leading Marysville. Bremen Farmers Mutual Insurance, providing high-quality coverage and service, all at a competitive premium cost. Since 1888, Bremen Farmers Mutual has offered homeowner, farm owner, business owner, fire, and inland marine coverage. Dependable and affordable. See your local agent representing Bremen Farmers Mutual Insurance. Learn more about the various insurance products offered by going online at bfmic.com. Ag Buildings provide safe storage and working space for farm shops and machinery. Inline Construction offers wood or steel frame ag buildings complete and finished to your specifications. Call today for a quote and let them get started. For ag buildings, demolition, concrete, and construction work, count on Inline Construction. Find them and see their recent projects on their Facebook page. When looking for a new ride, you know what you want, but don't always want to spend the time looking. Let Crown Over Auto Sales in Marysville find you that perfect ride. Whether it's a car, SUV, family van, side-by-side, or truck, any make or model, Ethan and Andrew can find it. Swing by the office today, East Highway 36 in Marysville, across from Valley Vet. Farmers, they're the lifeblood of America. The men and women who tackle the toughest jobs to put clothes on our backs and food on our tables. They might do it quietly, but their genuine values and tireless work ethic are an inspiration to us all. Some might say farming is a thankless occupation, so that's why we're taking the time to say thanks. Farm Bureau Financial Services, protecting what matters most. Patrick Booty in Marysville is your local agent with Marshall County, Farm Bureau Insurance, and Farm Bureau Financial Services. United Bank and Trust has been fulfilling the banking needs of families and businesses in Northeast Kansas for decades. United Bank and Trust is always advancing, and now they'd like to offer a free mobile deposit feature within the mobile banking app. Endorse, click, and submit your check image for deposit. It's a mobile fast world out there, and so is United Bank and Trust, the bank of your future. Visit our website at ubankonline.com or your local branch for more information. United Bank and Trust, banking for your way of life. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Well, there's two weeks span when we pretty much live on the road. I think Max had 12 Twin Valley League games last week. I had four high school affairs. And I've got my hands full with girls' tournament action. Marysville boys at Nemo Hall Central tomorrow. We'll have that 7.30 tip live on AM 1570, FM 94.1. Marysville wrestlers back in action hosting Abilene tonight. Abilene's atop the league in wrestling standings, 8-2, 2-1. Ben Concordia, 6-4, and 2-1. Two and one. Clay Setter is 5-5, five 2-2. And five, two and two. Marysville, 7-4 and four in the league, 2-3. and three. Chapman and Walmego round it out. Thank you, Trent Sanchez, pulling those facts and figures together for us today. Marysville wrestlers have got to make up in that uh, game or match that was postponed the other night, including senior night. That's rescheduled for the 2nd of February. Uh, the Marysville basketball teams have a reschedule. What is that, Concordia, coming up on the 1st of February? Our calendar's just a mess with some of these uh, weather days that schools have had. Now, we were pretty lucky, I think, to get in here Monday. There was no school here Tuesday, so the Tuesday games tipped off on Wednesday. We're in semifinals tonight as Marysville girls trail to Pika Hayden at the half. It's 46-21. 
Free CPA in Marysville has built a heritage of trust and reliability with your accounting, tax, and business advisory needs through the years. Certified public accountant Marcus Fries, with over 25 years of experience, and his staff continue that tradition of outstanding service to you, the customer, each and every day. Free CPA, downtown Marysville. Alliance Insurance Update. The first step of our move is now complete. As previously reported, we are now located at 715 Center Street on Highway 36 between New China Buffet and Impulse Archery. Dottie Rose made the trip with us and is right outside our front door. In the spring, we will be moving to our new permanent home back on Broadway. We will keep you posted when that move happens. So for now, from the girls at Alliance Insurance, thank you so much for your continued patronage, and we look forward to serving all your insurance needs today and every day. Stop by 715 Center Street or give us a call at 785-562-2393. At Reflections, you will find a treasure trove of items and gifts backed by a friendly and knowledgeable staff. Shop your Hallmark Gold Crown Store for the biggest selection in greeting cards, Christmas ornaments, gift wrap, home decor, and gift ideas for all your celebration and personal needs. In addition, Reflections offers custom framing services and specialized black squirrel products, along with your favorite K-State and KU fan gear. Shop Reflections in downtown Marysville today. There is a When it comes to financing your operation, you want to deal with someone who knows agriculture. Our loan officers are experienced in ag lending. Get your ag loans here. First Commerce Bank. Experience the difference. Member FDIC. There is a difference. When you own a business of any kind, you need an insurance policy that will protect it. You need business insurance that perfectly suits your industry, and Blue Valley Insurance is proud to offer it. When you get an insurance policy from us, you are taking the first step towards protecting your business, your employees, and yourself. Let's start with an overview of the types of coverage you can expect. Stop by for quotes at Blue Valley Insurance in Lynn, Greenleaf, Hanover, and Marysville. Bulldogs trail the Wildcats 46 21. Topeka Hayden were just underway, second half. Lindsey Dressman, right side of the lane, shot rims off, doesn't fall. Lauren Sandstrom rebound. Hayden brings it down the floor, left to right. Sandstrom, wide open look for three, rims off. Offensive board plays to Briley Meyer. Cross court to Kalia Fulton, driving the lane, taking defenders along. She traveled with it. Both games plagued by turnovers, Marysville more so. Double-digit ball game, 46-21 coming into the second half. Played a dressman near the paint, spun left, and turns right on two defenders. Knocked down and taken by Meyer. To Sandstrom, down the floor for the deuce. She's got 10 points, it's 48-21. Hayden outscoring Marysville 28-17, ruling that second half of the first quarter. Marysville had the early lead. Then Hayden rolled 18-4 in the second stanza. Winners back in the championship versus second seed Lafayette Saturday at 4.30. Blizzard tonight plays St. Mary's third seed in the consolation Saturday at 3. Avery Gruner picks up her first personal foul. And Casey Rush at the Marysville free throw line misses. She hit two of Marysville's three first quarter field goals or free throws. Second one counts. Twenty-six point ball game here. Man to man D. Following passes far side. Sandstrom comes just below the free throw line. Shot bounces high off the rim. Gurner with a save inbounds. 
And a tie-up. Belongs to Hayden. Inbounds pass just kind of dribbles in to the far side. Between defenders, nobody even really saw it. And there's a shot by Greco on the far side wing for the basket. Extending that lead to 28, it's 50-25. Aubrey Dressman missed left baseline. Following the paints a miss for Caden Spurgeon. And Riley Meyer comes away with the Hayden basketball. Elliot Fulton missing a long layup through defenders. We're two minutes into the second half. Here's a steal at midcourt. And a conversion by Norma Greco. Now a 30-point affair with 545 remaining third quarter. Uh, whistle out top. Greco picks up her second. Here's Dolly Fry in the Marysville lineup for Aubrey Dressman. And an ND. Hayden picks it off. Stands for another takeaway. She'll play the paint. Foul, splitting defenders. Earns a couple of free throw opportunities. Bella Raiders second. Team second. Mentioned at the outset. Listen to some of these scores. Hey, Hayden plays defense. They beat Washington Schlegel 74 to 12. They took Bishop Ward 61 7. Free throws good. On at least uh, four occasions this season, they've held teams to less than 30 points ball game. Sandstrom got the first. Here's her second free throw look. It's good. And they continue. Why not? In the charity stripe. 13 for 15. It's 54 22. All sports away from a couple of Bulldogs. Lindsey Dressman fell forward with it. Slides past Casey Rush. Here's Hayden with possession. Sandstrom out of the paint. Far side three missing from Meyer. Raider brings it down. Cross court Dressman three. He rattled the cage, wouldn't fall. Tipped a couple times, taken down by Sandstrom. At the other end, Avery Garunix whistle for an offensive charge. It'll be her second. Thirty-two point affair here. Wholesale substitution sets to check in for the Wildcats. Turning down low, Casey Rush had nowhere to go but up. Puts the shot up, doesn't fall. Bulldogs have lost that early confidence they came in with tonight. Here's Sandstrom underneath for two. She's got a dozen points. Extending that lead 56-22. Hayden's outscored Marysville 10-1 to in the second half. And here's a loose ball picked up in the forecourt by Greco. And a collision in the lane away from the ball. And the foul was on Caden Spurgeon's her first. Grayson Ketter, Aubrey Dressman in the Nurinsville lineup. Wholesale substitutions for Carvel Reynoldson. Taking his starters out. Up 46-21 at the half. They've outscored Marysville 10-1 in the second half. We're not even four minutes in. Younger cast of characters for this Hayden team. Almost tipped away to Aubrey Dressman. Bring it down the floor the opposite way. Fry on the wing. Raider out top. Turns into the lane. Shot rims off. Doesn't fall. Hayden by 34 with the ball. A crossing pattern. Check near the free throw line for reserve Reagan Husher. Hayden went to the state tournament, lost the first round last year. Off to an 11-1 start this year. Their only loss in Corey, and they split 
two games with Emporia. Pass near the paint, taken away by Casey Rush. Here's Marysville. Without a field goal in the second half, we're almost five minutes in. Fake on the far side by Ketter. Fry out top to Aubrey Dressman. Coming cross court to Raider. In the paint, Casey Rush is fouled. Cadence Watts picks up her first. A couple of senior starters and three senior reserves on this Hayden team. Under three and counting. Top of the key, Raider rims off. Rush with a follow in the paint. Boys foul. Casey's up a line for a pair. Watts back to back foul. Whistles her second. And we'll take time out with 2.54 to play third quarter. Marysville trailing 56-22. For reliable trash pickup and roll-off service, call on Temp's Disposal. Containers sized to meet your needs for residential, commercial, and construction jobs. Always prompt and professional, Temp's Disposal serves Marshall, Washington, and Gage counties. Let them go to work for you. If it's their weekly collection schedule or one-time pickups for construction, moving, or cleanup, Temp's Disposal in Marysville is a phone call away at 785-562-5360. Harris missed the first, got the second free throw. It's 56-23. Double up lead for Topeka Hayden reserves on the floor. Only Ramsey shoots down for the key. Shot doesn't Paul Raider. Grabs the board far side corner. And the ball chipped out of bounds. Bulldog retained possession. What a contrast from Marysville's early lead here. Hayden absolutely ruling the floor down. Raider wide on the far side. Turns into defenders. Keller in the corner. Top of the key to Raider. Three pointers up and good for Bella Raider's second score here tonight. Trims the lead to 30. Just over two minutes to play first half. Will I stay with man to man D? Pass the baseline, almost stolen by Casey Rush, but she lost it out of bounds. Sarah Nimick, Aubrey Dressman check in for the Bulldogs as Ben Wartenberger takes timeout with a minute 51 to play in the half. Aiden leads Marysville 56 26. Napa Know How. Locally owned, locally operated, your Napa parts store in Marysville offers Napa parts and accessories, plus the tools, equipment, and supplies you need to get every job done right the first time. The right tools at the right price, plus Napa Know How. From your locally owned and locally operated Napa parts store in Marysville, Enans Automotive. Know how. Right now, one in three drivers is cruising around in a state of skepticism about just how much value their car insurance company is delivering. If you're one of them, State Farm agent John Bannister can help you get to a better state. He'll talk with you, listen to you, and help put together a policy that has you written all over it. From cost to coverage, see John Bannister, 1022 Broadway in Marysville today, and get to a better state. 10-5, Hayden's outscored Marysville in the second half. It's 56-26. And Sarah Nimick picks up a second personal foul, bringing Millie Ramsey to the free throw line. And her free throw is good. She's perfect in seven tries, including six of six way back in that first quarter. Came in, made a big difference, hit a field goal, and then six of six free throws. Dropped in eight points off the bench. Ramsey again, rims off. Mimic brings it down. Hayden's up 31. Scrambling man-to-man defense against the red and black. Aubrey Dressman of the lane. Over Twin Towers, launches a hook. Out of bounds to the second row of the bleachers. Bulldogs play it back in. 
Almost got away from Ketter. Tracks it down near side to Dresden. Ten foot away. Came off the side of the rim. Tie up on the rebound attempt. Good hustle out there by Sarah Mimic. Bulldogs keep possession. Five and five, Marysville. Eleven and one, Hayden. First time these two teams have met. Their only common opponent, Jackson Heights. Marysville beat them Monday. Hayden took him last night. Far side to Aubrey Dressman. Dribbles once. Back to the near side wing to Winkler. Out of the corner is Nimick. Tumbling as she turns into defenders. Travel with it. Wholesale substitutions for Hayden. Marysville's only starter out there is Aubrey Dressman. Late third quarter action. 31-point ball game. Driving left side. Bella Reed can't get it over the rim. Bulldogs bring it back. And I got of the corner. Plays a bounce pass to the lane. Grayson Ketter's determined to get a look at the hoop. Spun around a couple defenders, then had the ball swiped away. Take away by Ella Foster, a sophomore. She's fouled at the other end. Aubrey Dressman picks up her second. Foster's at the line, first time tonight. Free throws good. Hayden continues to impress at the line. 11 of 13 in the first half. They're four out of five in the second half. Miss on the second look. Ramsey underneath two defenders. Turns to shoot for two. Nellie Ramsey with 11 points. Extends the lead 60-26. Clock under 15. Dressman comes with two defenders. They wave off the basket. She traveled with it. Ten seconds remain this third quarter. Hayden's running away from Marysville. Clock under five. Foster on the near side. Pass fought four is grabbed by Winkler at the buzzer. End of three in this girls' semifinal from the Hiawatha Invitational. Deca Hayden, 60. Marysville, 26. When you roller, send for Schroeder. For complete body repair, see Jeff at Schroeder Collision Center. A family business for several generations. Let Jeff and his quality crew help you with your auto needs. Schroeder Collision Center, 701 Carolina, 562-3546. Kick Afer and Bussing, certified public accountants in Marysville and now in Seneca, are qualified and available to assist you with all of your income tax and accounting needs. Stop by and visit Ken Kickafer, Kent Bussing, or their staff of certified public accountants and paraprofessionals. For prompt and friendly service, contact Kickafer and Bussing at their two locations, 1100 Broadway in Marysville at 562-2100 or 508 Main Street in Seneca at 336-2400 to set up an appointment. Kickafer and Bussing, where quality begins. Agriculture. Our country was built on it. Our children are fed by it. No one quite understands the unique needs of the farmer like United Bank and Trust. Whether you raise crops or livestock, you need the right equipment at the right time. Our ag loans can help you acquire and maintain that equipment when and where you need it. Contact one of our experienced ag lenders today. United Bank and Trust. Banking for your way of life. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Marysville girls trail 60-26, a 34-point margin to beat Hayden's biggest lead in the ball game. Marysville had the early lead. The 17 first quarter points were mainly in the opening four and five minutes. But Hayden opened a 28-17 first quarter lead. They've held Marysville to four points in the second, five points in the third quarter respectively since. Long three missing Gorilla Foster. Down to her knees with a rebound is Marysville's Casey Rush. Bulldogs have got some ground to make up. Starters check back in. Bella Rader among them. He needs the basket to Peyton Spurgeon on the score. 
68, 710 remains. Boys action tomorrow night. Marysville, Nima Hall Central. Varsity boys only be about 7.30 or after. Near side three by Laura Borton, a sophomore miss. Ella Reed picks up a second foul. First here in the fourth quarter. Boys action tomorrow night. We're back here with Marysville Saturday afternoon in the girls' finals. Likely, at this point at least, a consolation tip at 3 o'clock. Lindsay Dressman, right side. Backs into the lane against the defender. Turnaround shot, stop and good for Lindsay Dressman. 12 points. She hadn't scored since the first quarter. Traveling whistle. Hayden turnover. And a running clock here with 6.15 remaining. Hayden leads Marysville 60-30. Anyone can sell you soybean seed. Channel Seedsman plays product to perform. With Channel Extend Flex Soybeans and Channel Roundup Ready to Extend Soybeans, you'll get the superior weed control you want and the high yield potential you need. Make the most of next season with the Roundup Ready Extend Crop System and expert recommendations from Channel Seedsman. Ask a seedsman in your area for recommendations for your fields. Check with your state pesticide regulatory agency for specific restrictions in your state. Always read and follow pesticide label directions. Sophomore Casey Rush going to work underneath, bought the basket, and was fouled by Reese Husher. Rush missed the free throw. And that trimmed the lead 60 to 32 with a running clock. 520 remains. Hayden passes coming near side, then back top of the key. Wholesale reserves in the lineup for Coach Reynoldson. Push foul out front. Bella Raiders third. Raider and Rush have three apiece now. Each team a win so far in the tournament. Palming violation, Hayden turnover. Leaves 440 to play. 60-32 Wildcats. Raider plays far side. Fry, pass underneath the rush. Goofy rush, turn around is good. Back to back scores. She's got 10 points. 60-34. Mary's still shipping at the deficit. With 4-10 remaining. Hayden just crossing top of the key, crossing near the free throw line. Not a lot of effort to go down low. Pass coming to Cadence Ward, side of the paint, and she's fouled. Aubrey Dressman. And Sarah Nimick check in for MHS. Crossing the lane, layup missed by Bella Reed. Foul whistle, let's sort this one out. Two shots for Reed. Sarah Nimick picks up her third. Reed's on Nimick. Raider and Rush. Free throw miss. That is 16 of 20 free throws, by the way, tonight. For Hayden. And a miss. First time all night they've missed two in a row. Under three minutes remains. Hayden leading Marysville 60-34. Bulldog pass to Fry on the baseline. Flies out of bounds. Bulldog turnover. Again, working right to left, left to right. Wide open shot from the near side. A three missed for Laura Borton. Aubrey Dressman goes far side to Fry. Dressman off the wing. Cross court to Nimick. 
Left baseline, doesn't draw iron. Hayden rebound. Leaves 210 to play. We'll take time out. Hayden leading Marysville, 60 to 34. Planning new construction? If it's an outbuilding, storage, home addition, or a new home, the pros at Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axtell Lumber will help you put together everything you need from start to finish. They can help you with your design with recommendations and cost estimates, helping you find the right product at the right price. And it's delivered free for you when you're ready, when you shop local. Everything you need for your dream home or a simple shed is at Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axtell Lumber. Visit with them today. Just like our area athletes work each day in practice to perform at their best in the big game, the staff at Bruna Implement Company, your local Case IH dealer, work daily to provide the best parts and service experience when you need it most. Bruna Implement Company has been family owned for three generations. We know what it takes to be successful as your area Case IH dealer. For the best in farming equipment with the service to back it, there is only one. Bruna Implement Company, since 1947. One minute remains. Hayden leading Marysville 60-34 with a running clock here in the first quarter. Ben Wartenberger sent a trio of substitutes into the ball game. Foul whistle brings Hayden to the free throw line. The Watts missed a pair. Marysville's down substantially. Nemec from the corner. Pass to the lane, stolen. Hayden basketball with a half minute remaining. Well, everybody saw action here tonight. Both coaches went to the bench early and often. And reserves finishing things out here for both sides. Hayden looks to improve to 12-1. and one. Marysville will fall to 5-6. and six. Under 10 seconds left. Bulldogs bring it down the floor. Winkler's pass to the lane, knocked away out of bounds. That's going to be the ball game. And her final in this girls' semifinal from the Hiawatha Invitational. Hayden 61, Marysville 34. At Kramer Oil, safety always comes first. We're here to keep your home and shop warm with reliable propane delivery, which is why with your first fill-up, we perform a complimentary leak check. Your safety is our top priority, so you can rest easy knowing we've got you covered. And we're not just about safety, we're about convenience too. Need propane when you want it at a fair price? Call or text us today at 785-562-2466. We're here to serve you. Hop in, let's go to Honeyman Ford in Seneca, the best place to be. Skip the drive. Come see us right here in Marysville, Kansas at Honeyman Auto Sales and Service. You'll find the same honest sales experience backed by the same reliable service. With the same goals in mind, our Marysville location is sure to provide you with a satisfying vehicle experience. Find us on Facebook or stop in at 1122 Pony Express Highway today. Have you driven a Honeyman Ford? Lately. Have you ever wondered what sets Sunflower Community Credit Union apart from the rest? It's the power of ownership. When you join Sunflower Community Credit Union, you're not just a customer. You're a member and an owner. Sunflower Community Credit Union is a member-owned, nonprofit financial institution that places our members' needs as our top priority. We're here to help you grow your savings, manage your finances, and achieve your dreams. Visit Sunflower Community Credit Union in Marysville where ownership matters. Be prepared for the 2024 hay season and save during Can Equip's annual twine and net wrap sales event. Preseason pricing on genuine CNH twine for round balers and square balers, small or large, plus Armor Net, Legacy, Bale Keeper, American Net, and new this year, Varsity Net Wrap. Place your preseason order at Can Equip in Marysville. Can Equip can. Can he quit? Can he quit you? Well, they have a top two seeds in the championship on Saturday. That'll be a 4.30 tip as top seed Topeka Hayden meets second seed Lafayette out of St. Joe. In the consolation, it's the 3-4 seeds. St. Mary's uh, the number three seed. Marysville the number four seed. Concordia meeting Jackson Heights for a fifth place game. Ohio Waffle will host West Nottoway in the opener Saturday for seventh place. First round was delayed until Wednesday on account of weather. 
Marysville had tipped off Monday with a win over Jackson Heights. Hayden defeated that Jackson Heights team last night. And a strong Marysville start faded fast as Topeka Hayden took control from the middle of the first on. Marysville had the early lead the first four or five minutes of the ball game, but they were down 28-17 in a high-scoring first quarter. It was Hayden by 25 at the half. They held Marysville to four points in the second, five in the third. Marysville outscored them 8-1 down the stretch with wholesale reserves in the Hayden lineup that fourth quarter. Hayden Wildcats improved to 12-1, and one, advancing to Saturday's title game. While Marysville falls to 5-6, and six, tipping off at 3 with St. Mary's in the consolation. Seven players, I don't know, eight players scored for Topeka Hayden, led by Lauren Sandstrom with 14 points, Norma Greco with 11, Aaliyah Fulton with 10 points, Riley Meyer, 8, Avery Grunert scores 3, off the bench, Millie Ramsey with 11, Bella Reed scored 2, and Ella Foster adds a late free throw. Marysville paced by Lindsey Dressman with 12 points, 10 of those were in the first quarter. Casey Rush in double figures with 10. Bella Raider scores five. Caden Spurgeon, four points. And Sarah Nimick had three. 61-34, the final in girls' play earlier today. Lafayette defeating Hiawatha. Ah, nope, that was first round. Let me get my bracket turned around here. Earlier today, Concordia beat Iowa by 20. Lafayette over St. Mary's 44-29. Again, puts Marysville and St. Mary's in the consolation. Saturday will be on the air around about 3 o'clock here on AM 1570 FM 94.1. Good luck to the Marysville wrestlers hosting Abilene tonight. North Central Kansas League duel. Marysville boys tip off in Seneca. Rematch with Nemo Hall Central tomorrow night. 7.30 toward 8 o'clock on the tip. We'll have it live. Our final tonight, 61-34. Hayden defeats Marysville. Bulldog basketball, a service of our Candy Wise Sports Booster Club members. Bruce Dierking saying thanks for listening. Have a great evening, everyone. At your service 24-7, on air, online, and on our mobile app. News, weather, sports, and more. Yours from Candy Wise.